everyone it's Susanna from Susanna Designs. so I'm working on this piece here um, I did a custom color of gray it's stunning um, I stained the top it just needs to have a top coat um, and I'm adding the black wax as you can see just for some depth so a lot of people are um, asking me again how I do <coughs> excuse me the black wax as you can see the difference there's no wax here so it would be just you know plain Jane nothing special about it and then when you start transitioning here um, I'm actually working on this door now um, you can see I worked on this leg this one has nothing so what I use is the Annie Sloan clear wax. I'm just at the bottom here, so I really don't care if I contaminate the wax. And then I have a uh, brush and black wax, and I use different brushes. So I have this brush here just for bigger areas to soften the areas and shadowing. And then I have this teeny whiny, teeny teeny one here. It's more for to get into my crevices and my lines in here. And this one here is just more for like blending here. And then I will transition into that bigger one. So I'm gonna do um, this area here. I already waxed with clear wax. So I work in sec sections. So I've done, I'm still gonna work on this, but I'm just gonna show you here. On this guy um, don't apply clear wax all over and then you know go with your black wax because that will, the clear wax will dry and then you're gonna have a hard time moving your black wax Let's see if I can find a position here that everyone can see so I am just gonna apply some black wax I uh, have a paper towel here for just to dab the excess because I don't want too much so I apply my wax then I just kind of wipe off so I'm gonna go into the crevices and any areas I want to highlight and then just Less is more. I mean, you can definitely use your clear wax to wipe back the um, black wax if you put too much. But you know what? Just you can always add more than take away because it's harder to remove. Honestly, it's just going back and forth, it's just shadowing. And then here, I'll do the same. Now with that little tiny brush, I just have the tip and then I go in here and just slowly, it doesn't have to be too heavy, it's just to define it. And I'm not really worried if it goes onto here because I'm gonna blend it. It's not too much, but it makes it makes a difference. So see how it's here. So I'm gonna use actually this brush here to soften it and just kind of drag it down a bit. I'm just using the side of my brush, so I'm not going like that. I'm just using the side and just go back and forth. And then again, I just dab it and then I wipe back because I would want that. And I'm going to use that smaller brush to add more definition.
not see it had probably a bit too much wax on the corner I'm gonna wipe that back I'm not too worried if I find that it's too much I will use clear wax over it and just soften it so I don't like it so what I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna use my finger as and then I'm just gonna go right on here massage it in and then with the paper towel just wipe back there we took it out I'm happier with it and then again with the bigger brush just go back and forth so that's how I apply it easy peasy here in the corners I like a bit more definition to it so again put some black wax and then just wipe off your excess I'm gonna use a smaller one just to get in there To get the sides and then again with your bigger brush go over and just kind of drag it out so you don't have like a corner like that harsh and I'm just gonna get some paper towel two hands one second here we go Do this corner. <coughs> Excuse me. Getting over a stupid cold. Do the same on this side. It just defines the drawer a bit better. And then again, use your bigger brush to drag out the wax. And then with your paper towel, just wipe back. So your, your piece should not have, if it leaves fingerprints, which is not, um, but if it did, that means you have too much wax. So just wipe back. And if you're still too waxy, then get some mineral spirits and just lightly wipe back. In the camera, you can actually see here, it needs more wax. Here, just needs to be pushed in. And wipe right back and see how. So my camera shows, but in person it doesn't. But anyways, just keep pushing your wax in, and then again wipe. There. So it looks great, in my opinion. I like it. I'm gonna do the drawers and the bottom part here, and then the other side and those two legs, and then I'll be done. Hope you enjoy the video.